Have you ever been told to multitask? Listed the benefits of doing too many things in too little time. Now I find that to be a flawed concept, even though it's often boasted in our society. Be time efficient. Do too many things in too little time really just divides our attention across too many tasks or too many people. When in reality, we can only 100% focus on one person or one activity at a time. Unfortunately, we have not been taught how to focus or how to concentrate. But stay tuned until the end and we'll give you some tips to better grasp this skill that is necessary for life. Welcome to Positive Living, a new episode, a new positive living and healthy living for many years to come. Today, we're going to speak about technology and health. Many people have been blaming technology for many years now that the technology has caused all the diseases that we're seeing, whether it's you know diabetes, obesity, hypertension, all the lifestyle. So how can we change the technology to be our friend and ally and to be a promoting health rather than blaming it for the diseases? So many people saying, oh, nowadays everyone is glued to the TV, people are glued to, you know, children are glued to video games, they're not moving out, it's all due to the technology. So what can we do to use our technology? Well, if we see what has the technology done to us, technology is the only tool today that has changed people's behavior. When we see with the iPhone technology, that's the new technology when it came, or the iPads, it changed a lot of people, including senior people. So a lot of our parents, grandparents, are now using the technology when it used to be almost impossible. So the technology was able to change people's behavior. Before, if you told your parents or grandparents, use the iPads or use any computer kind, they would say, oh, we were never taught in schools and they would have the phobia. But the technology was able to change people's behavior and was able to overcome people's behavior and barriers and made them change it to using the technology. So how can we use this to our benefit in our health? So nowadays, we have so many, you know, apps that is available, but how can I use the app that I know it will be of use to me and I know it has been validated and it's of help. So we will going to speak of different apps that is available today on your mobile. Some of them are free and it's already downloadable in your mobile that we should use to become to our positive living and positive healthy life. So let's start. If you have your you know, mobile phones device today, most of us will have the health app integrated within our technology. So it's all available in your mobile. So when I see patients in the clinic, I tell them, get out your mobile phone and look at your health. And many would say, oh, but I haven't set up the health app. And I say, no, it's already set up in your mobile. Even if you did not choose to set it up, it's already there. So let's get it out and see the health app. The health app is an app that is free, that is available on your mobile phone. If you open it, it will show you exactly how many steps you're doing per day, how many floors you're climbing per day, and what's the distance you're doing per day. Now, if we use this app, and if we start all of us, you know, changing the community, that we're looking to change the behaviors. So if we walk daily about 10,000 to 12,000 steps, then we can change a lot of conditions. And I'll speak more about this after the break. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to It's All About Technology. How am I going to get use of my mobile to move my health? So let's speak about Steps. So Steps is the health app that we said that is available in your mobile. 10,000 to 12,000 steps has proven from the science. If you walk 10,000 steps from the age of 22, you can prevent 21 diseases. So there's nothing more powerful than steps counting. So all what we want is the whole community shifting. Doesn't matter if you're overweight, doesn't matter if you're normal weight, doesn't matter if you're obese. We're all in the same nation and we can change together. We can put challenges in the apps. We can, you know, make a group that we will change the health. So if we walk 10,000 steps from the age of 22, we can prevent more than 21 diseases. So this is much more powerful than any tablet, any vitamins, any supplements you can take across the counter. What about other apps that has been shown in the uh, randomized control trial that it will have an effect as well? There is another app called the Sleepio. Sleepio app is also has been put into a randomized control trial and been published in one of our biggest journals in the medical care. It has shown that people who have sleep problems or can't sleep, they can use the app and this will help them to you know, improve their sleep quality and increase their sleep. Sleep is really important for your obesity, for your diabetes, for your blood pressure. So how does this app do it all? It even teaches you breathing techniques, sleeping techniques, and you know how can I get into cognitive behavioral therapy with different scenarios integrated into the app. What other apps and technology that is available to us today? Also, there's so many apps for diabetes control. We have Spike, Xdrip, we have blood sugar, we have the blood glucose control. These are all apps that you can actually download, you know, your blood glucose meters and it integrates you and it gives you also, you know, what is the blood sugar is doing and what is the latest from the uh, blood glucose control. So today when I want to use an app in, you know, in health, we want something easy. We want something friendly, like many people might use Uber app and whatever, but what about health and Google health and Google apps that is available today? So this is all about apps. Is there any other things that we can use as well? Well, you know, you have also the uh, forks. So there, these are new technology that have been devised by uh, companies where if you eat too fast, then we know this causes, you know, obesity then these have been devised that, you know, if you eat too fast, it will start vibrating in your mouth, alerting to you that you're not chewing your food properly. Why is it important? Because if we chew the food, then it will, you know, stimulate your appetite and it decreases the hunger. And nowadays, most of us really galloping the food, not chewing it properly, and then just wanting to speed up and finishing our food quickly, not enjoying the taste of the food or, you know, what we have to enjoy most. Also, there is the weight scales that you can get at home. These weight scales are Bluetooth to your mobile, to your iPads, and then the minute you step on the weight scales, it gives you weight and it alerts you if your weight has gone up. And it's really important to keep your weight in good control. So technology, is there a lot to look at? and there is a lot of future things that is going on. So please let's utilize it. And let's get the challenge in our community to walk together and get our 10,000 steps. So welcome to the healthy technology sections and hope to you enjoy the rest of Ramadan and happy Ramadan with the technology. It's very interesting. I'm looking up information provided by Dandapani. Now he teaches us how to harness the lost skill and art of focus. He does that by clearly showing the separation between awareness and the mind or focus and the mind. Now he says that wherever energy goes, that is where motion and thought and process go. So if we take that awareness, that globe of focus or awareness or light, 
and we take it to a certain area of the mind, that is where our attention lays at that particular moment. Now, how do we harness this ability to focus? Focus in on a person, a conversation or a task. It's simple. You just practice and practice and practice. If you find yourself losing track or focus, then grab that awareness back to the area of the mind on which you're trying to focus. Keep trying that until it becomes an innate skill. Thank you.